Alrighty, folks, here we go. Um, so this one is not really a coding exercise. This is just checking video settings. So get this over here, why not? Uh, I'm just going to run through a bunch of video settings and see what looks good on my screen and on this feed. Uh, my goal is to try and get videos that are sharp. I, they, they don't look as sharp to me, and I think that's because I've cropped in on my big screen. And so when it goes to OBS in the video, it's not as sharp as it could be. So that's what we're going to mess with. So. This is, I use Divi to size uh, my windows. And so I've got a four by five grid, which I'm on right now. There's a six by seven and then full. Uh, I'm gonna be changing the fonts and the sublime text scale, which changes the size and the fonts. Uh, finder list view is gonna be at 16 the whole time, which is big as I can make it, which is this big, which I think is cool. It's fine. I can't make the text any bigger than that. Uh, I've bumped these icons up. Uh, I'll just leave them like that. I can't make the font there any bigger than I can tell. Um, so these are actually large, whatever. So that's all fine. Uh, so let me just go through real quick. And verify. So that's at 16. Oh. Sublime text is at 16 with a scale of one. And so we're at two minutes and 15 seconds. Oops, time, I guess I should have put that over here. Uh, can I move that? Seems like it'll move, that'd be awesome. 2.15 and oh actually I really do want it over there crap nope there we go wow nope not that far how about right there is that gonna work there we go 2.15 all right so and the way I'm going to test this I just do that one, two, three, four, five, six. So it really goes to seven. So I probably try. So I made a little uh, whew, font still giant on this one. Uh, whatever, that's fine. Uh, I made a little Python script that prints out these um, things for me, uh, rulers basically. So one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, so seven. So it's, with this setting, we get 28 high. That's rows. Let me do that, because I'm gonna do that first. 28 rows, 90, one, two, three, four, five columns. Sublime text. Oops, I want to close that. Get rid of that one. Oh, where'd my thing go? There it is. So, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 89 columns. I'm going to actually do rows, columns, rows, columns. So we did this one first this time, 89, and I'm gonna call it 27, it's fine. So we're just gonna do that a bunch. So same font sizes at the six by seven. Oops. So that's six by seven. And then we flip this to, oh, this is at 1080, right? So there's 1080 at six by seven, which is gonna be way too small, but I just wanna have them in the mix. So uh, 
let's see, this is at, what time is this? I guess I should actually, where's the BB edit? So, oh shit, never mind. Uh, yeah, let's do this. So just to put some text in here, there's some text. I guess I should do, what's the best way to do that? Uh, that's fine, whatever. Ah, this will be close enough. I can just, I'll, see, I'll be able to read it and see it on the screen. Um, I guess I could look at code, uh, but we're doing this one. So this is at six minutes. So we'll call it 545. I'm gonna close this because it's gonna confuse me. Don't save. I quit it. Quit. Thank you. All right, so let's do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five. So this needs to be a six now. It's probably a way to make that happen automatically, but whatever. So 39 rows. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, one, two, three, hundred and forty three columns, sublime text rows, it's 39, Cool, okay, so there's that. There's some text to look at. There's some code to look at. Sweet. Oh, and then full screen. Yeah, this is gonna be tiny. Uh, so, whatever, full screen. Full screen. Full screen. And so this is starting at 750. Whatever, 755, close enough. I term rows 51, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six. So 51. Whoa, music. I forgot that was going. Trickle of water. Give that a shot. See how it goes. Uh, I term rows fifty one. Term columns one hundred ninety one. Lime text. Fifty one. One eighty one, two, three, four, five. And tiny, tiny, tiny on the screen. That's actually. This is close to the resolution that I would work with it at, it's a 24 inch monitor. So this is about what I'd work at it with, work with it. Still, in, this is in 1080p though. So I would bump it up for the resolution. So it's even sharper on the screen, but about the same size, I think. Uh, okay, cool. So there's that. I didn't have Safari accessibility on. Let me just verify that that's true. Yeah. So now I need, I would have to remember to do this. Let me make this red so I can. Because I need to change. I need to change this, but that's going to be the same all the time. 
That's gonna be the same all the time. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of these. Also, the song. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> Tripolar. Bye, Tripolar. I don't think we're ever gonna need to listen to you. M N O P Q R S T Tripolar. Goodbye. Alright, so first set of changes. So move this back to four by five. That's the same as this, right? Yes. If I really wanted to do this, I could put Ah yeah, I might as well do that. No, it's tied to five notes. It'll be fine. I could have changed the uh, underneath bander. It's a little loud. I'm a little much. A little hard right now. stream. Well, all right. So this is going to take a little, oh, come on, don't do that. So we're going to 18 here. five so we can fit it in there. So there's 18 for that. Sublime text. This goes to 1.2. We gotta quit it and relaunch it. Oops. Spotify decided to come over and play, but not play. So is that okay? Uh, and then Safari, we return accessibility. Whoops, eighteen. I didn't make a test of that earlier. Oh well. Because this, so if we turn that off, that's more what it would have been like. Uh, and then 18 just makes it bigger. That will be fun to watch as it explodes. Close it. Oh, no, it's right there. No, it's not. Let's put this. Here, just in case we lose it again, we got to make it easy. Okay, 
that's our sheet. Alright, cool. Well, that was weird. Ah, uh, just crashed Safari. It's gonna go there, just so I can see it. All right, so there's I term. One, two, three, four, five, six. That needs to be a seven, just to get it in there. Get rid of this for now. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. yeah, so 24. Oh, time, 16, 15, wow, this is taking forever. Res 24 calls 80, one, two, three, four, five, six. Sublime text. Whoops. 22 by 73. All right, same thing, go to six by seven. So here's I term. And this is 1705. text goes here. Okay, so let's do this. That's wrong. Safari quit unexpectedly. Yeah, like five minutes ago. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So 34 by 130. Sublime text. Is 32 by 113. All right, and then full screen. Drive. That's the other thing that I'm doing, so I'm not sure how that's going to work, which is why we're testing it. Full screen. Forty-four by one seventy-three at eighteen fifty. I should have I don't know, just something to see code wise or something. I don't know, that's fine. Yeah, I should do that. Okay, that's fine. I don't need to go back into the other one. I've got enough though. What's a good that's probably fine. Oh, so that's full screen. So now we're gonna go to 20 on iTerm. These won't go up in increments of two, that will get faster soon. So there's 20 in iTerm, which we're gonna go back to here. Lord. And we're going to 
do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As we see it. So this is, well, I want to get them all set first and then I can go through it. That's probably the best way to do it. So what are we doing here? 1.4 and 20. 1.4. I should really open this in Chrome so that I don't have to mess with it as I do this. Oh, and also I should do this. What's a good... A good example is example. Oh, okay, wait, so, right, I need to do this. And now we're there, okay. 2145. Oh, I guess I can keep that up too. What am I doing, 2145, yeah, I see. Uh, right open that Chrome. No, yeah, it was logged in. Nice. Okay, I see the size difference. So now we're gonna do this at whatever twenty-two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven goes to twenty-one by seventy-nine. Oh, crap. Okay, I'll go back and do that in a second. What was that, full screen? Okay. Uh, just to keep them in order. So we're looking for full screen. We're going to 18 here. Sublime text goes back to, can you highlight the row? Yeah, look at that. 1.2. And Safari goes back to 18. This is good because we can actually look at this. So there's the launch pad. Here's the site. We are doing, no, we're doing full screen. There's full screen. Here's a page of text. We're also doing full screen, which we're not actually doing right now. Hang on, which is good because we haven't put the timestamp in. Full screen. All right. That over there. Twenty-four thirty-five. I term rows. Is that really eighteen again? No. Why did that change earlier? Doesn't look like it changed again. What's going on? It did. Weird. All 
right, so we're doing full. This is at 18. 45 by 70, 173. Which hopefully is what we got there earlier. What is going on there? Oh, God. Don't do auto shit. 2530. Five. This is tedious, but it is worth it in the long run. 45, 173. Sublime text should be at 1, 2. So let's just verify that. 1, 2. There's our text. There's some code. I guess we could move some code over onto the text page just to have it be there. that full screen just give an idea okay 42 by 153 cool now we can move on So we're going back to four by five. Let's go ahead and move this. This is line, right? So I term goes to 20. Sublime text goes to one four. Safari goes to twenty. So here's our example domain. There's some text and there's the launch pad, which is continue to break us that. Yeah, that's not expanded. That's size. Close that, close that, close that. Now we've got one of the three that we need. Um, Five, six, seven. Okay, so twenty-one. What time is it? Twenty-eight forty. I say forty-one. Twenty-one. Seventy-nine. Sublime text. Sixty one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sixty-seven. Too small. Sweet. Now we go to six by seven. Is here. My terms here. Sublime text is here. Safari is here. So here's the launch pad. Here's the example domain. Here's a page of text. Oh, I guess I can do, yeah, why not do this? Oh, you can see page of text and some contrast, I don't know. I 
And then here's iterm, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's actually go ahead and do that just so we've got it referenced. And let's print the code. 30 by 119. At 3035, sublime text, 27 by 101, 2, 3, 4, 27, 104. Full screen, full screen. Full screen, full screen. Oh, did I just, ah, shit. Wait, yeah, I didn't switch it over there. Okay, so scratching all that. Just to watch it happen again. There, there, there. Here is where we change it. Now we can see the stuff. Okay, so there's. Oh, so I've got everything set up. So now's the time to do this and mark the time, which is somewhere around here, 3145. So here's Launchpad, example domain. Home page, page of text. I term code numbers one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so thirty by one nineteen. Lime text, there's the code. We all good. 27 by 104. Got it. And now we go full. Why should we do this first? So there's full screen. There's Safari. Here's iTerm. Here's Sublime Text. So here's Safari. Again, not the size. Of, well, actually, yeah, the sizes have changed, right? Because it's a different thing. So there's Safari with Launchpad. Example domain. Website. Page. I term some code a bunch of numbers one two three four five six okay so 39 by 159 oops could have done this shit uh okay Oops, don't do that. Do this. Maybe. I'm trying to make it so I see it earlier and do it earlier. So let's do this one more time. So 3410. So here's Safari. What I should do is do this. That was wrong. I'm just gonna pretend I did it on all these. All right, so we're here, right? that. 
Does that help? Not really. Hmm. Trying to make it easier to see which one I'm on. So now we'll do it at 35.25. Here's Safari. Example, example, example. I term code numbers. 3959 guessing 159 is probably really where that is yeah and then sublime text There's sublime text code 35 141 I guess we could leave it there for a second so you can see it. Cool. All right, next, going back to four by five at 1080. I guess I don't want that there because I need to make all the changes first. So it goes there. That's right. Okay. So I term. I think we said 24, right? And then 1.6 on Sublime Text. Safari. So we're going to four oh, cheese. Uh, all right, so we're four by five. We'll start with Safari at 38.25, 38, 38.30, 38.45. So here comes Safari. Giant example domain website uh, page. Click there. So here's iterm. So there's code for my term. Five, six, seven. I thought that might happen. I guess I could prep that earlier, but whatever. So 18 by 60, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 18 by 67. So 
Sublime text gives us, oh my goodness. 15 by 50, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 15 by 57. Well, that is small. So now we're gonna go switch to six by seven. Just get them all set up. And go to Chrome and we put in the time of 40, 30. No, oh, I guess I'm actually doing this one now, right? So here's Safari, which is insane. My site is obviously not responding to it very well. Oh, I should look. Yeah, there's Stack Overflow. I should have brought that in some. Uh, what's another good, uh, let's look at Twitter. Ugh, what? Yeah. Just to show what it does. Twitter actually holds up. Look at them. Uh, example. Page. Page. And now we're going to go full screen. Oh, yeah. Look at this. So that was Safari. Hey, see, this is working. Uh, iTerm. There's some code. long enough looking at code. How about some numbers? One, two, three, four, five. We need to make that a six. So we get 26 by 102. Dude, not bad. I can't figure out the mix though. I'll have to check that out. It's a little hot, but it doesn't look like it in the mic. I don't know if I should trust my ears or trust the instruments. Not the instruments, but you get it. 23 by 89. All right, full screen. Getting slightly faster at this. So we're gonna come here, we'll do this. I guess I should look at some of these too. That's tiny. 4301. Oh, whatever, 43. Is frost. So here's Launchpad. That's not awful on this. Wait a minute, why am I missing the top? Because I haven't gone to full screen. Aha. Oh, man, I'm going to be bummed if I missed one of these, but I probably did. Oh. Here's Stack. Looking a little janky. Twitter holding up nicely. I can't remember other things to go to. Uh, example domains, example domain. Uh, oh. Whatever. Oh, I guess I can get some Google results. That's probably not awful. I'll just flip through some pages. Yeah. There's that. There's that. It's giant on the screen, but it's not as bad over there. Uh, okay, so that was Safari. You know what I should do? Set res.
again. Hopefully I did all these, but just to get the pattern going, there's that. All right, I term. There's some code. I should have waited longer on some of those, but I will. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 34 by 130, 136, 34, 136. about good old sublime text there's the look at sublime text let that sit for a minute and it's gonna be 30 I'm gonna call that 30 because we're missing half 31 by 21 21 30 by 121 Ready to go six by seven. Yeah, because the it's not worth looking at the uh, at a twenty eight point font on four by five. Well, just to do it. Oops, magic! I love it. I want to know what magic is. We do twenty eight. That's just not happening. Uh, so we're gonna go six by seven. Twenty-eight. Sublime text goes to one dot eight. And Safari goes to 28, which starts getting not so. All right, so here's Chrome. Set the resolution to six by seven, correct. Done that. 4730 is what we're gonna call this. We're gonna do this, 4730. Here comes Safari, right? Uh, so there's Launchpad. Here's Stack Overflow, which is yucky. Here's Twitter. Yeah, starting to fall apart, but still doing okay. Uh, example domain, solid. Google News or Google results. It's funny, it's losing uh, something up there, but the Rest of the results are in pretty good shape. It's nice when it's all text. Google News, holding up nicely. My site is super simple, so nothing going on there. Just starting to mush in. Um, looks fine on screen though. It's crazy. So there's that. I term, we're at six by seven. Pretty sure we're gonna to wanna to change this to a seven. We're gonna show some code. And we're gonna make some numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, yep, seven. So 22 by 80, one, two, three, four. That's reasonable, I think. That song's not playing. That song's not playing. I think that needs to be restarted. Let's try that. Sublime text. So there's our code. 
it was bad. Yeah, not at all. And we get 20 lines by 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 20 by 78. Which, of course, we could move around just a little bit to match those numbers. But So now we're going to go full screen on that. So we'll start with Safari, go full screen, start with iTunes, go full screen, Sublime Text, go full screen. Chrome. Set the resolution. Hey, it reminded me. Checklist, good thing. I've got cords everywhere. Full screen. Check. Timestamp of 50 minutes, good lord. And call it 50 seconds. Here comes Safari. So there's Launchpad. That's actually funny. This kind of gives you an idea of what the difference is. Um, Cause that's the, that's hard coded for 800 and something pixels. Stack overflow exploding. Twitter still doing all right. Example domain hanging in there. Uh, Google news or Google search. Sorry. Same thing or it's drop in, but by and large is fine. Oh, it looks great over there on the OBS. Be interesting to see on stream. Uh, Google News looks pretty solid. My site still hanging in there. Page just continues to mush in. Uh, so there's that. So that was Safari. Check. Iterm. Gonna be a six this time, I think, and maybe every time. So there's the code. Should put like a writing script up there so it's like doing something. Whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 29 by 112. Lime text, how we doing? There's some code. It's not awful at all. 2700, one, two, three, four, five, six, 2706. Seven, one, oh, six. Uh, and now I'm just gonna keep stuff at Full screen, or the last one is full screen on 1080. Okay. We get to do most of this again with a different resolution. Uh, what am I doing? So I term one to 36. And just for fun, that's the four by five grid. That's why we aren't going to do that. Uh, yeah. That also give you an idea about how big I'm doing stuff when I'm printing versus, or how much I'm blowing it up so that it's easier to see on screen, 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 stream. So we're at 36 there. Sublime text goes to 2.3. Safari goes to 36. Excuse me. This is ridiculous.
Yeah, so again, that's what it would look like on the 4x5 grid. We're going to keep it at full screen. Uh, okay, so... Resolution is set to full screen. We are at 55. Here comes Safari. So, Launchpad. Stack, ooh, falling apart even worse. Look at all that stuff up there. Uh, Twitter. I wonder if they coded that. Interesting. Super interesting. Uh, example domain. Ooh, changed a little bit. Google News or Google Search. Get that right at some point, maybe. Uh, Google News. Still solid. Should definitely figure out how to make it uh, wider. Same there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven words, which is really six words. Uh, yeah. Let's put that back there. So that was Safari. I term. We're full. So we're going to print the code. See, that looks good on the stream. Yeah, and the big one of the big things I'm working on here is setting up so that the crispness on the stream looks good. Because, like, I think I've got the size okay with some of the stuff I've been doing, but it's, like, it's just not crisp. Uh, let's see what this is. We're going to change that to 7, I think. Because there's three lines down there, and I, that feels like that was a pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, yeah. So 2280, one, two, three, four, five, six, 2286. All right, Sublime Text, what you got? Some words. Some code. 20 by 80, we'll call it 80. There we go. Uh, okay, resolution change time. Uh, oh, an hour of this. Good Lord. All right, let's just do it. Displays. Twenty. Here's the resolution that kind of works. It's weird going through this card. I get a different resolution setup when I plug directly from the Mac into the monitor than I do going through the uh, Elgato uh, capture card. But this is gonna blank for a second, and then come back. There we go. See, this is the resolution that I would actually work at. Um, but obviously, that wouldn't be so good for the stream. Uh, all right, so here we go. First of all, uh, to chill. I need to get away from chill. Not that I want to lose my chill, but my cocoa. Hey, I'm from the South. This is a Coke. After looking at all those giant fonts, this looks so tiny. Uh, okay, so change to 4x5 on the, this one. All right, it's going to go to 26.
Oh shit, should I do? Even smaller than that? Yeah, I should probably look at that. Let's add a new line. Excuse me. Insert one above. Paste. That got working. Yeah. Oh, do I need to do this at all the different resolutions? Let me, let me figure out what I want to do there. Is that color green? Yeah, sure. So instead of 26, we're going to look at 22. Oops. What do we think this needs to be at? And we'll try 24. Set the resolution. Yeah, we're at four five. Okay, so we've done the resolution. Cool. Sublime text one four. There we go. That's like why didn't it move? That might be all right. Interesting. Oh, but I want to, yeah, so we'll see how sharp that is. That's, that might not be bad at all. I'm going to do a couple of these just to get dialed in a little bit. And then Safari goes to 22. Four by five, I already checked it. 22, one, four, 22, good to go. So what do we got? What if we do this? Is this, yeah, whatever, I'm maybe gonna try it. One. We'll call it 103. Yeah, that'll be close enough. Over here's Safari. Which is still giant. Everything's breaking. Starter hanging in there. Example domain. Google News, Google results, whatever. Google News. My site. On the page for my site. Just see text moving, I guess. I don't know. I don't care. Uh, so that's Safari. I term. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so 27 by 90. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 27, 97. And here's some code to look at. Sublime text. What we could probably do is move that up there. So there's your code and your text. Some code, some 
Vortex. Ooh, look at that. Okay, that's probably better. Uh, can I make that HTML? What does that do? Highlighted code. Now I've got to go back and retest everything. Not gonna happen. 2591. Okay, so that was, yeah, so let's just do it because we're here. Add one below. Let's do the same thing at six by seven. So we'll switch a res to six by seven. term we get to six seven sublime text six seven safari six seven chrome it's already there uh, what's this i can close that it's just hanging out oh i should look at the finder too ah, i probably should have looked at that hmm well Good news is I'll have enough information here that if I figure out one of them doesn't work later with a finder, I should be able to zoom in on another one. Uh, let's do dashes just to, since we didn't do it. We did it on this one. Did we? No. All right, set res to 6.7. Res is set to six seven. I really should have actually updated the text to make it easier to see that it was six by seven up there instead of having to look at the thing. A lesson learned. So resolution resolution is resolved. Time one is seven. Safari. Looks like everything's busted because it's all fire over to the right right sublime or er, stack twitter example google search got it right that time google news Yield site, yield page. <laughs> Finder, uh, let me just do this like that. Yes, I can't make the font any bigger there. Oh, wait, can I? Where? No, you can't text size. That's as big as it lets you get. Oh, I wonder if. do plus minus I want to like have the command line to do it wow that's old school whatever so there's that let me close these just so we have that so 
we're still in 6x7, so we've shown Safari, we've viewed in the Finder, iTerm, if I can see the code there already. That's going to be a 6 this time. Thirty-eight by one forty. One two three four five six. Thirty-eight one forty-six. So much louder. There's Sublime Text. Thirty-seven by one forty-one, and just to do it, we might as well go full screen just to see it. This text is smaller, actually, than I would normally work on, but oh, it didn't work. There we go. Uh, cool. So that resolution to full. There we go. One eleven thirty. Here comes Safari. Let's just get them all full real quick. Yeah, see, I've seen some people stream like this, and it's, I just can't see anything. Our stack. Editor. Example domain. Google News. No, Google Search. This is Google News. My site, a page. A finder. So there's the finder for you, which is tiny, tiny on the screen. Should have been an X. That's an X. I term. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. 49, 190. Five. Now I guess I should do that so you can see some code. It's going to be very hard to read on a smaller thing. Sublime text. 48. 190. There we go. Uh, so now 26. Okay, I'm not going to do 24 and then 26. That's this will be fine. So profiles text 26. So it's going to go to four. Uh, Safari is going to be 26. Four. We're gonna go one five on Sublime Text. We're gonna set this to four five. Bring that down there. Bring this. Bring that. Actually, we can keep that up there. It's fine. 
Move someone else. Resolutions at four five. Time one fourteen. Thirty five, whatever. Safari. Launchpad. Stack overflow. You can see why I'm not going to do a bigger font in here for the 4x5, for that at least. Still readable. Yeah, I wonder if they. How that works with getting the ellipses. Google News. Google. It says Google News. I should make another search, but that would change things. Uh, yeah. There we go. And there we go. So we've seen that. Yeah. Finder. See? Checklist. Nice. See, that's reasonable. Uh, look at the finder. My term. Oh, yeah. There's your code. Let me go ahead and guess that. That needs to go to seven so that when we do this, yep, 2379. Slime text. Look at some code for a minute. 2381, 2, 3, 4. 2384. All right, now to go to six by seven. Change this. All right, good. Safari goes six by seven. I term six by seven. Sublime text six by seven. It's starting to get a little punchy. Resolution six by seven. Good timing. One seventeen ten. Safari. So there's the launch pad. It's giant on the screen. Uh, stack. Twitter. Example. Google. Google News. My thing. My other thing. Oh, wait. My logo or my uh, icon finally updated. About time. Not sure if I like it, but you know, it updated. Uh, oh my god. Good finder. See, a lot tinier. It's weird to me that you can't just basically say, hey, make everything bigger on the screen, like some type of accessibility thing. But I have not been able to figure that out. Still thinking about that. Um, there's your finder, I term. Which is going to be the six here just to get the numbers and whoops, save code. See, that's a little small on the screen, it looks like. Yeah, 32 by 119. Thirty four by one thirty. Look at that for a minute. Yeah, see, it's, it looks too small from here. Thirty-four 
34, 130. Really want to actually do something tonight, too. Um, all right, this will be awesome. Full screen. Uh, I term full. Safari full. Sublime text full. Chrome doesn't matter. Resolution. Full screen. Uh, set resolution. Time. I'm just going to leave it green for now. No, I'm not. One. Yeah, see, the trick is I want to do all this stuff so that I only really have to do it once. So. Hopefully this is the ones. And if I need to make smaller adjustments or figure stuff out from there, this should be like enough to figure stuff out. Safari. Stack. Twitter, hey, what? look at that guy. Well, don't because Twitter won't let you. Example domain. Did I set the font size on this right? Twenty six. Okay. I wish I could script this. There you go. There you go. So that will be our Safari play for the thing. Here comes the finder. Not super legible. Excuse me. I had some spray. My term. Code. Tiny. See, that's the thing with the resolution that it should be sending, like that should actually be fine if you've got a big enough monitor, but I'm worried about like people have like about the size for my uh, laptop is what I'm targeting to where YouTube brings that size video. So 42, 159. All right, sublime text, what you got? Forty five, one seventy six ish. Oh, my nose is wrong. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and s now let's go ahead and do this. So here's this, here's this. I'm going to go ahead and set it to six, seven, which I'll check off in a minute. So I can go ahead and check it off now. So I just did that. So that's set res. My term goes to 32. This app that I can't remember the name of right now. Safari goes to thirty two. Uh, just for the fun of it. That's why I wouldn't really do it at uh, this particular font size at that particular resolution. Uh, it's not quite worth dealing with. Um, it's not awful, actually. But it's just you'd be bouncing around so much. 17 by 60, yeah. 
the putting in the line numbers I think is really going to help me figure out where I want to get the get the resolution set at. So, cool. Put the more realistic thing. Okay, so we did iTerm, we did spline text, we did Safari. Ah, uh, cool. So we're going six by seven. There's that. Safari is gonna go six by seven. I term six by seven. Sublime text six by seven. Safari Chrome. Okay, so got everything launched ready. One twenty five. Safari. Yeah, see that. The difference, of course, is this font compared to these tabs, um, but like. Those kind of don't matter most of the time. So, uh, so there's Launchpad. And it's funny because this, if it opened up more, it would do it. I don't know how to do that or whatever, but it's a really interesting experience. Twitter. There's some accessibility folks I'd like to talk to about that because um, it would be kind of kind of neat. There you go. There you go. Yeah, totally losing the uh, text, and then some craziness going on up here. There you go. There you go. And there you go. And again, it's, it looks like it's formatted for a phone at this point um, in terms of the width. Yeah, it looks fine over there, even maybe a touch big. Um, actually, how big is... Uh... Yeah, the font's even a little bit bigger than... Uh... When I term, it's probably been like that the whole time. Who knows? So that was Safari. Here comes the Finder, which I would have forgotten about. That's legible, I think. If you got a big enough screen. Uh, so there's that. A term. There's a code. Let's just chill out with that for a minute. Kind of zoned out there for a second. Is that right? Is that center? Yeah, okay. 26 by 100. All right, let's see what Sublime Text got for us. There's the code and some text and some numbers. 25 ish by 94 ish. Look at that again for a minute. Let's leave it up there for a second. Yeah, see, that looks pretty solid. Where'd my coke go? All right. Next up. Oh, just gone full screen. Cool. Don't have to change stuff. I like those. Step one. Full screen. Safari. Just full, I term, full, sublime text, full. Chrome, can see where you are, it's fine. Set resolution, resolution's at full screen. Set the timestamp of one hour and 28 minutes. Safari, here we come. No, I guess we should start where we start, right? There you go. See, that actually doesn't look bad at all over there in terms of the size of the text. Trick, of course, it was be. Oh, you know what I could actually do? I'm just realizing. I could actually work with um, whatever Python loop. How about that? Oh, that's super slow. What the hell's going on? Whoa. That surprised me. I've never actually used that search box before, but that really surprised me. Python, clop, whatever. Uh, here we go. Yeah, see, I could actually throw over to this when I'm trying to read stuff. Uh, actually, 
Yeah, let's find a stack overflow page. Wow, I'm surprised there's not a stack overflow page up front. What's going on? Um, Mac, command line, set, resolution. There you go, there's a stack site. Yeah, so there's that versus that. But yeah, I could I could do that and then, I don't know, bounce up the font a little bit. Yeah, I may do that. I'll play with that. That's just helping me think about this a little bit more. I can reset this now. 130. All right, Safari, whatever. There's the launch pad. Totally probably should have spent more time on all these, like a few seconds or whatever. Ooh, there's Twitter exploding. Oh no, it's still there. It's hard to look at, but you can read it. If it if everything didn't just collapse down, it would be fine to like I could move the monitor like I've got the monitor pushed back farther than I normally do just to deal with this. Um and so it's not like I'd have it about here if I was really working with all the text at that size. Uh and if the UI would bump, that would be it would be fine. Uh so there's that. Here comes the finder, which is going to be the same size. Which, oh, there we go. Content, yeah. So, oh, do one there, so you can see some tiny text in there. Uh, yeah. So there's the finder. I term. There's a text. See, that's not awful. Yeah, really, my guess is a six by seven is going to be a pretty good compromise in terms of getting the crispness, crispness, uh, and still having the UI be usable or readable. Thirty-four, one thirty-four. Sublime text. Thirty-four. 29 ish whatever do that for a second okay two more here we go you're gonna be here so switch to six by seven. I term goes to thirty eight. That was the wrong way. Thirty eight. Oops. Sublime goes to two five. Thirty-eight. It's awesome. Okay, those are all the changes. We're at six by seven over there, so we can mark this off. We're here, so we can go one hour thirty-three forty X for Safari, which we're gonna go see right now. Should be over here again. That's actually, oh wait, six by, oh, I'm in the wrong, aha. I didn't move them down. Hopefully I haven't done that too much. 
There we go. I guess I should be monitoring the stuff on the monitor. Uh, so there's Launchpad. Tech. Over. Actually, I guess technically said flow because it was a flow. I'm exhausted being a pawn. Okay. Yeah, it's funny because if I actually just did it on the Mac or on the laptop, I wouldn't have to deal with all this stuff. It just, it works fine. Um, but once you throw the bigger monitor in the mix, it gets all wacky. Uh, so that's that. Let's switch that back so it's there when start. I term. We're gonna wanna bring this back up to seven for our counter. First our code. big 2283 oh finder aha that's finder finders can be the same size every time it's at six by seven but we'll still put it in the mix it's also gonna be the same size when it's four by five or when it's full respectively excuse me 2284. Didn't remember those numbers at all. Our friend Sublime Text. 1973. Good year. I guess. I wasn't alive. Okay. Cool, now we go full on those. Switch to full. Is that the rest? Time. One. 36. 20. Five. Safari, we're gonna go full. I, we're gonna go full. Full sublime text where you go full, just get those out of the way. There's Safari. I see the, that font size looks pretty solid there. A little, maybe a little big on the screen, but still. Where do you see the next one? Uh, whoops. I'm stack. Twitter. Oh, totally losing our text. You can still get in there. Uh, starting to move, lose some uh, some crunchiness. Yeah, same thing with the text box. There's that. Before long, there's gonna be like one word a line. It's a lot longer we do that. Uh, cool, so there's Safari. Safari Finder. So wait. Yes, it's full screen, right? Losing it. I term. That's gonna be a six. But we can do this first. There's our code. See, that actually looks pretty good. Twenty-eight by one ten. All right, Sublime Text. What you got? Twenty-six by one hundred. Maybe just a touch small over there. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I basically just have to make a decision on what size monitor and size 
thing I'm targeting. Um, all right, this is gonna be fun. So six by seven. There you go. 48. I just wanted to see what it would do. Three point one and forty eight. Three one. I forget. So the thing that's good about this, so Sublime Text, I'm doing. I'm not changing the font size. I'm changing the UI uh, variable, and you can see that it's actually changing the full UI. Like the whole thing scales. So like, if everything in the OS would do this, I could just bump up the the overall UI and not have to figure out all this mess. Um, but I have to, I'm kind of walking the balance of, you know, with the finder, it doesn't get any bigger. So I'm kind of, that's kind of going to be a loss, I guess. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm still figuring this out. But anyways, here's, uh, here's Safari at six by seven by, yeah. So we set the resolution. Yes, we got, we're going to set our time. One, 40, 50. Here's Safari. All of this text used to fit in this box, and now one column does. That's awesome. Uh, yes, and again, you can see the difference of like this size text versus the text in the tabs and the text in the uh, address bar. Address bar? Oh, address bar. Uh, what am I doing? There's Safari. Okay. Stack not looking so happy. I mean, you can still read it. You can still mostly figure it out. Uh, but, like, that should have broken to another row so that you could see what's going on. Um, that's an interesting accessibility question. Uh, Twitter mushed in. Example. Yeah, Google getting a little funky up here. But still, uh, yeah, some craziness. Uh, news. Do my thing. Yeah, because mine's pure HTML with basically nothing, like no real structure to it. There's it is very responsive, um, uh, except for images. I haven't figured out images yet, but like all the rest of the stuff, there's it's just a column. So there's that. Uh, we're here, right? Finder. There's the finder, which looks the same as the other six by sevens. Hooray. All right, iTunes, what you got? There's some code. Yeah, see how it looks pretty big. But again, I wanted to, I wanted to, ooh, whoops. Wait a minute, why is that? Oh, oh, oh wait, 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 there we go. Was Safari doing that? One text. Oh, I don't know why I didn't move. There we go. Glad it looked. Uh, yes, yeah, that's probably too big, but I wanted to go what I think is a little bit farther than where I didn't actually end up. It's giant on this screen. Um, oh, let's do that. Oh yeah, there's some text size comparison for you. Let's get that over there. Uh, 
this. So there's that. Here's some numbers. Yeah, 16. Oh, wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that needs to be an 8 now. Look at that. Yes, I could do the math in my head, but I want to be able to see it. 61, 2, 3, 4, 5. 18 by 65. Yeah, it, it wasn't until I really kind of start started working on this and, and figured out the ruler stuff that I was like, that probably makes the most sense, right? Because you're looking for lines of code and column rows and columns that you can see. And it's largely going to be the same. So depending on the resolution or regardless of the resolution, if you can see the same number of lines and uh, rows and columns in the same area, it's going to be the same size it's going to look the same um so now i'm just looking to make it as crisp as possible uh, but all these all these numbers will help me kind of really dial in on where the the right size of it is um so 1865 we got that sublime text giant yeah see like look at over here it's just like it's huge on the, so you think it's big where you're watching you ought to see it on the screen my the screen i'm looking at whatever uh, bah, bah, bah. so there's enough time with that so 15 by 50 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 15, 57 alright last but not least giant with the full this is going to be interesting so let's do this because it tells us to which is what checklists are good for Make Safari full. Let's make iTunes term. Whatever. Losing it. There we go. So Chrome resolutions full speed ahead. Time. Captain's log. One forty-five. One forty-six. Oops. I should actually wait till I look at Safari. So there's yeah. It's all in one column. Can't even see most of it. Can you scroll? Okay, so you can can scroll. See, if this was actually like fully responsive, you'd it would just look like that and even more fine. But um, this is hard coded to a specific number of pixels. Again, because it's on my screen, I don't worry about it. Um, but now I'm actually looking at, at it. Uh, nah, whatever. Uh, maybe I'll do that later. So that's Safari, and here's Stack. Yep, definitely I want to figure out how they did the ellipses. Example domain. That could be a little louder. Uh, Google News. Still Google. Missed it on the last one. There's Google News, which is not as happy now as it used to be, but it's still all right. There's my site. Three words, four words. Uh, so that's that. Finder, which is going to look the same as the other times we had it full screen. Well, we got I term. So that's gonna be a seven. Yeah, so this is, I was messing with the fonts on all the stuff earlier. And so this is up to uh, 32, just for the reference. Not that it matters, because I'm just on the other one. Why did that bump over? What just happened? There you go, whatever. Uh, there's full screen. There's the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So 2386. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
Sublime text. Don't remember changing the font on this one because, oh man, I gotta stop doing that. Uh, woo, woo, woo. Good to see how loud that sounded. I actually didn't hear it that bad in the headphones, so it didn't explode. 20 by 78. 6, 7, 8, 79, 20, 79. Okay. I'm trying to think if there's anything else at all that I'm going to want to do here. Just for fun, that's what that looks like at 4, 5, but that's why we aren't going to do that. 10 by 30, 4, 5. Uh, cool. I think that's it. It's a good song to go out on to. I like it. Uh, okay, cool. See ya. Be kind.